Welcome to Juju DIY. I am Sarah. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I have an exciting video for you. I have made three easy summer DIYs in collaboration with three other awesome YouTubers and I will talk about them later. But first, first I want to talk about today's sponsor, Timu. I downloaded their app and now I have Timu right at my fingertips. I can go and browse their site whenever I want without any fuss. If you guys have never heard of Timu, I definitely suggest you head on over to their site and check it out. They have got so many products at such bargain deals, you aren't going to believe your eyes. Not only that, but you get free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. That is a deal sealer for me. I hate paying shipping and I love to be able to return things. And I don't always get everything returned in the first week. So if I have 90 days to return something, that is awesome for me. Timu was gracious enough to send me free products to try out. And even though this video is sponsored, all opinions are my own. First, I chose this little mini vacuum and it is perfect for your craft room. It is so cute sitting on your desk. It's a little cat and it sucks up everything and it works perfect. Next, I picked out this makeup organizer, but I want to use it for paint brushes and markers, things like that. So it came in a little bag, you gotta put it together, but it was super easy to put together and it is nice, sturdy plastic. So I think pulling my pens and paint brushes in and out is gonna be great. Also, this Lazy Susan or turntable I thought would be perfect for organizing in my craft room. So I'm gonna put this, uh, paintbrush organizer on it. And then I'm going to add in my new detail paintbrushes that I got from Timu. These little brushes are awesome and are perfect for those hand lettering needs. Look how cool this is. You just put all your stuff in there and then you can just turn it to whichever area you need. Next, I got one of these little organizers. This was super easy to put together. It's nice and sturdy. And you know what, guys? I can fit 12 bottles of Waverly chalk paint on it. That is an amazing organizing system there. If you know me, you know I love gingerbread men, so I couldn't resist these gingerbread men stamps. These are polymer stamps. They stamped beautifully and are just so adorable, colored in. How cute are those? Their wood beads are all an excellent price and high quality. Their polymer stamps are amazing. These are great to use with air dry clay, polymer clay, or foam clay. I also got some of these little utility knives. These are great to have around for those little things that you just need to cut quickly. I also picked up one of these mask applicators. The Dollar Tree doesn't always have these and that is a great price there on Timu. I also grabbed a hand drill. You guys have seen me use the hand drills before in the past and ask me about them. And now I have a source for you. So this hand drill here is a great buy. This little tool here is also pretty awesome. It is a pen on one side that writes really nicely. And then on the other side, it is a little craft knife. So you can write with one side and cut something out with the other. So if you are into, you know, doing your own hand lettering and stuff, you could definitely cut those out or just whatever you might want to use it for. I thought it was a pretty neat tool. All of these tools are definitely must-haves for your craft room. If you want to get in on some awesome deals, download the Timu app and get $100 worth of free coupons, or you can use my code OFF8339 and you'll get those same $100 coupons. Definitely go check it out um, because, you know, $100 worth of savings is going to be awesome. All right, let's get started on our projects for today. I am going to make some little houses. I cut down two pieces of one by two and two pieces of one by five. And one of the one by twos is in a little house shape like you see here. And one of the one by fives is also in that shape. The other two I just cut off straight like you see here. And as you can see, they're, they're 
um, I've painted them and distressed them a little bit. Now I have some of the little pieces of wood. These come from the little kits that you can get at the Dollar Tree um, in their uh, kids crafting section. It's like a little birdhouse and a little bird feeder. I like to grab those for those little pieces of wood that you get in there. And so I cut down some craft stick and this is going to be the same on both of these houses, but I'm just going to show you how I put it together on one. So I wanted to make, these are going to be like salt box houses. And um, if you guys saw my last video, you know that I'm really crushing on the primitive stuff right now. I love it. So I wanted to do some primitive 4th of July summer projects here. And so what I'm doing is I cut that craft stick down to the same width as that little piece of wood. And then I'm gonna glue it straight up and down at the back. And then I'm gonna angle that piece that I got from either the birdhouse or the bird feeder. I can't remember which kit it came from, um, but I'm gonna angle that down so that it comes down off the front like you see here. Then I'll just paint that black. Next, I'm gonna go in and I am going to paint a door and little windows. If you need some inspiration for salt box houses, you definitely can go on Pinterest or Google and you'll find lots of inspiration. These are so cute and classic in the primitive look. And to keep with a primitive style, I am just freehanding this. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this freehand, definitely you can paint it off or mark it out with a pencil and then paint it in. However you'd like to do your projects, definitely do it your way. After the paint dries, I am going to go back in with my sander and I will distress the fronts of my houses even further. And I've done the same technique pretty much for all four of the houses. Next, I had gotten these little stars. These were just little wood stars. I got those from Timu. They are four different sizes and I painted some of them in red and some of them in cream. And I had so much fun decorating my little houses with that. And that bigger star you see up there on the top is one of the wood stars from the Dollar Tree at Christmas time. And I'm just kind of showing you how I have painted and decorated each of my little houses here. And this right here is a macrame ring that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. It was one of the smaller sizes. I painted that blue and added some of those stars to make a little wreath. And I'm just going to add that to the top of this little blue house here. And I just had so much fun with these stars. These are just so small and cute and they can go on so many items. I am going to be excited to use these, I think, for Christmas. So you'll be seeing those again towards the Christmas season. Um, and definitely, you know, I will link everything that I've used down below. Um, and if you want to check out that uh, stars from Timu, go do it because it's an awesome deal. Now, I want to let you guys know, you can stop right here if that's where you want to stop. If that's distressed enough for you, you can make these bright and cute or you can make them more primitive. And to make them more primitive, I am going to add this coffee glaze on top. This is just instant coffee, water, vanilla, and cinnamon all added together to create this kind of staining glaze look. And this is just such a fun technique and it smells so good. I'm just going to brush that on and let it dry. Next, I'm going to add some coffee dyed fabric. And this is just a little piece that I had. I tied it around this house. And then I had another piece that I tied into a little knot. And I'm going to add it to the star in the middle of the red house. And that's really all there is to this project. These turned out so cute and I am so excited to have these in my kitchen decor. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, today is a collaboration with Ellie from DIY House 
to home and Kelly's creations DIY and Krista's crafty life. Definitely go check out all of these ladies projects. I will leave the playlist link in my description box below. We're all creating quick and easy summer DIYs. Thank you so much, Ellie, for asking me to join in on this collaboration. I can't wait to see what you guys have made. For this DIY, I'm going to start off with a Christmas sock. I'm going to take it apart and use this striped fabric. If you don't have a Christmas sock, just look for some striped fabric at your local craft store or fabric store, and I'm sure you'll be able to find something similar. So I'm just going to cut this down into a flag shape. We're going to make a little primitive flag here. So I thought that this ticking stripe was perfect for this and voila i've got it cut down into a rectangle next i had this star fabric um, in my stash this was gifted to me from a friend and i am going to utilize it here so again just look at your craft store to see what you can find little blue polka dot would be perfect here as well so keep your mind open it doesn't have to be stars just something that looks like it could be or representation of stars Next, I'm just going to fray the edges of all this fabric and then I will coffee dye it. So I'm just going to dip it into that coffee mixture that I made before and then I will let that dry. Next, I've got this cutting board that I picked up from Michaels. These were like 70 cents or something. I picked up like four of them. So I am going to use one of these for this project. I just sanded off that front area. I wasn't too concerned about getting it all off because I do want this to be a little shabby, grungy. And if it's not all completely off, that's okay with me. Again, I'm going to go in and use that coffee um, glaze to add some depth and old kind of feel to this cutting board then i'm going to go in with some of the tim holtz distress ink in walnut and a little um ink i don't know this is like i think it's like a blender brush for makeup but they actually make ink brushes that are like this but this one came from the dollar tree a long time ago um, so needless to say, I added some of that ink to it as well. And now that my fabric is dry, I'm going to add it to my cutting board with a little bit of hot glue. So I'll put that stripe down first, and then I'll go in and add the star patterned fabric on top to make our flag. Next, I am going to add, um, this was some some white fabric that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I coffee dyed it again and I'm going to just fray those edges. This is like one of the things I love about this style is just making things look old and grungy and I just I don't know I'm just really loving it. So I had this set of stamps in my collection and I will show you what they are. They're called tra uh, traditional serif is the font style. And I just used some distress ink in espresso to stamp those out. And I just stamped out old glory. I wasn't too concerned about whether it was in, you know, perfect alignment or anything. Um, but I just really like how it turned out. So now I wanted to make a messy bow and basically I've got a little bit of lace, crochet lace from the Dollar Tree or their lace ribbon that I coffee dyed. And then the rest of this is just fabric strips that were also coffee dyed. And I just laid them in a willy nilly kind of way. And then I'm just going to tie them up in the front kind of middle. And I'm sure you, probably seen other creators make messy bows many times just kind of put them in an x style and then you just tie the middle and as you kind of tie you just 
play around with it and get it to lay how you like. I actually prefer making messy bows with fabric. To me, it's a lot easier than trying to use a bunch of ribbon to make messy bows. I never can make the messy bows work very well with ribbon, but fabric is really easy to <laughs> make a messy bow. So I don't know what I'm doing there, but I know some creators do the messy bows with ribbons and they do a beautiful job with it. Um, I could not be that type of creator. So <laughs> I am just going to make my messy bow with fabric strips. And I just really love how this turned out. So I added a few different kinds of fabric and then I made a cute little, um, doily bow here with some of that, uh, coffee dyed lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And that will top off our cutting board next. I'll just add back that little bit of jute twine for the hanger. And that finishes this project. I think this one turned out so cute and I just, I really like it a lot. You guys will have to let me know what you think about this primitive style. I definitely won't be doing all primitive on this channel, but you'll probably be seeing a little bit more from here on out for a while. For our last DIY, I'm going to utilize this box that I picked up from Goodwill for 99 cents and a couple, well, actually just one of these Dollar Tree chalkboard tags that came from the crafter square section so i'm just going to cut one of those off i will give it a good sanding on that one side that where the chalkboard is but i do end up actually painting the other side and using the other side um, because i figured it would distress a little bit easier on the other side because it's just playing kind of cardboard on the other side, but I did fill up that hole with some hot glue so that it isn't as noticeable. Next, we're gonna use one of these stars from the crafter's square section. I'm gonna remove the hanger and give it a good sanding. I'm gonna fill in that hole with a little bit of hot glue and spackle. Once that's done, I'm going to get my ruler and a pencil and I'm going to create a flag on the front of this star. Once that is all penciled in, I'm going to paint that in the traditional United States flag. And then once that's dry, I will take my finger sander and really distress this and make it look old. I'm also going to add some black paint to the very outside edge of the star and the back of the star just to finish it off. And I'll distress those areas as well. Once all of that's done to finish off our star flag, I am going to add some little cream polka dots with this dotting tool from the Dollar Tree. Now we're going to grunge it up using that coffee glaze and I'm just going to put that on. You can leave on as much as you want. You can add extra layers if you want it darker or you can lighten it up a little bit by um, taking it off a bit before it's dry. And I'm just going to do that to all the areas of this star. Now, I can't remember if I mentioned it before, but the box that I showed you at the beginning of this project, I painted completely black. All the sides, bottom, inside, everything is black. And then I painted that tag on the back black as well. Then I took my finger sander and I sanded that all down and then used the coffee glaze on top of that to make it look old and vintage. Next, I'm going to glue in my little tag sign and I don't know how this worked out, but this little tag sign worked perfectly in this box. I was looking around my craft room thinking, what can I put in here to make it kind of look like how I want it to look? And I found this tag and I was like, oh my gosh, this fits in here like a glove. So I'm just going to use some wood glue and hot glue to secure that kind of in the back of this box. And as you can see, it's nice and distressed. Next, I will add my star again using some uh, wood glue and hot glue to do that. Then I'm going to add a little candle. This is just one of the emergency candles from the Dollar Tree. I made it look old and primitive. I glued the little stand to the bottom of my box and then I added some floral foam and some of this Spanish moss. I will finish off this project with some bits of pitberry and dried baby's breath and look how cute this is. I'm just loving these primitive objects. I think they're so great. 
So that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to go and look for the playlist in my description box. Definitely check out Timu. I'll leave all the links down below so you can go and check out Timu. Get your $100 worth of coupons. And I hope you guys have a happy, healthy, and blessed day. Until next time, bye-bye.